Valcha. Hello and welcome to Keith's Whiskey Vlog. Not doing a whiskey video today, as you can see, and not in our usual place. We are out on the road, driving through beautiful Stratheric, up near Inverness, near Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. And we're on a little bit of a mission today. We are on the lookout for something that's quite close to my sort of family history, family heritage. My surname is Fraser. We're in Clan Fraser territory. And we're on the lookout today for we're gonna go we're gonna get out of the car eventually and we're gonna go and explore and look for an old tree. It's known as the it's an old yew tree, it's known as the Great Fraser Yew Tree. And this is where the clans people of Clan Fraser would meet before battles. Um, and you could identify yourself as a Fraser by wearing a little sprig of the yew tree. So we're gonna go and look for this yew tree. It's quite difficult to find, quite difficult to get directions to. But uh, let's go and see. So, if we're going to find it, who knows? You'll find out later in the video. But I will speak to you again once we're out of the car on foot. See you soon. We've been following the Forestry Commission path. Who knows if we're on the right way? It is an adventure after all. The majestic, mighty Loch Ness, village of Invermorriston, over on the other side, the north side. We're walking down the south side. So, let's see where we go. See you soon. in the road, take the left Minutes ago, there was a golden eagle. We're in wild goat territory, red squirrels, and uh, there's mountain goats up here as well. So you never know what you might see. Um, up around us here, it's all sort of natural, indigenous Scottish woodland with the, the birch trees, the silver birk, which do quite well on boggy ground. Which I don't know if you can see down here, quite boggy. We don't watch where you're going. And quite highly going. I don't think we could do this in summer. We've got a beautiful autumn day for it. You can see the sun's beating into my face, blue skies. Um, Still don't know if we're on the right track, but we're ploughing on regardless. So continue, follow, adventure this way. See you soon. So 
So Loch Ness back over towards Invermorriston. I'm pretty sure we're on the right trail. This tree stump was a marker and one of the other little things I looked at. And the trees as well here, they're starting to change a little bit. It's not just birch trees as much. So good luck to us. Onwards. You can see a bit of a mission. If we're going the right way, good. I hope we are. Yoo-hoo! So Loch Ness and down in front of us you've got the Loch Ness boat cruise, some monster spotters, I think they've just spotted some goats by the sound of the commentary, you can hear the commentary, but they sail out of Fort Augustus, and off they go. Now we think we're close, found a big fence here, big deer fence, still no sign of the yew tree, but uh, fingers crossed, you can almost feel it. to the monster hunters. Middle of nowhere. Cut, bruised, scratched, wet feet, lost, long since, don't know when the last seen a path. Loch Ness is still there, but I have to say the, the great Fraser U has defeated us. We're going to call it quits and live to fight another day. Wait a minute, what's this? The dancer! Found a little entrance. Like a different world. This gate's a sweet one. I'll have some of that in a minute. There's a box around about here somewhere. Go for it. There still.
come up and see me. So we've got a nice little dram in the tree and a couple hidden away underneath. This Jura, scraped the age off it, we'll go for a 10 maybe. An interesting kill cool woman. Uh, cool point, I'm going to have to research this one, I'm not familiar with it off the top of my head. But, uh, Myla, I'll tell you in a sec. Yep, it's a nice Isla whiskey. Now when you do come here, I believe in here is a little visitor's book and a little bit more whiskey as well. Now we left our whiskey in the car. A little miniature. And finish. A blend. Nevis Dew. Somebody said some of that. A little bit of legend from uh, the Isle of Mull. So we'll go through these, have a little look, and we'll leave our own little So It's not quite a visitor's book, but certainly we'll uh, leave our thing. We've not got a glass, but we've got a little bottle top, so we're going to have a little dram. Out of the Kilhoman, of course, the Isla. Try not to spell too much. So to Clan Fraser, to the Fraser you, the great Fraser you. Scramble to get here, but it was worth it. Slangeva. So, like every reward, you need a hard journey to get there, and certainly getting to the great Fraser U. Absolutely delighted we made it. Uh, the yew tree, um, thousands of years old, the, the oldest one in Scotland, the Fotengal yew famously, maybe the oldest living thing in Europe. This one apparently not just as old, but with a yew tree as you can see it's, it's, it becomes more than one tree, the branches go down, they take root and more and more go around about it. Apparently these were the best trees for making your longbows, so they're quite important if you had access to a yew tree making your bows and arrows. Um, and this one, the, the Clan Fraser yew tree, as I say, a meeting place for the clan. There's a story that the, the clansmen met here the night before the Battle of Culloden. And they had a big Cayley, big party, but they actually got to Culloden late because of the, the Cayley they had the night before. Now, having walked here, I can't see that that story is true. There's no way that they left here hoping to get to Culloden in the same day. It must be a good 20 odd miles um, for a start. The terrain, quite treacherous. Um, maybe they did meet here before Culloden and made their way. Possibly they got there late. There's an old story in my family, a bit more recent. One of my great uncles during the Second World War was in the army and he had to leave. Uh, they went back home and then they had to get back in for a certain time before they got deployed. And he was actually late back and apparently his commanding officer had said uh, that he would rather leave one man short than wait on Private Fraser. Not the happiest ending of the story because his whole battalion was wiped out and he was one of the very few survivors. So maybe it does pay some things a bit tardy with your, uh, your timekeeping. And maybe it's just in the genes, the Frasers that met here, the Frasers of Strath Eric turn up late from the Battle of Culloden saving their own skins I suppose, so maybe it just runs in the family, certainly anyone that knows me knows that I'm not the most punctual. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our little trip to the great Fraser U, um, the banks of Loch Ness, Highlands of Scotland, glad I've come, I'm not sure if I'll be coming back, certainly uh, a bit of a trek but loved it, delighted to be here, loved my whiskey, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you again sometime soon, take care.
So one of the things with getting to and from the Fraser U is there's no really good information. People like to keep it under wraps a little bit. So you've seen a little bit of the path that we took. We've come back a different route just for experimental sake. And the wee tip is there's a deer fence. We've followed the deer fence. It doesn't take you right to the Fraser U, but close enough. And you'll see where I'm going now. Uh, back towards civilization of sorts. See you later.